Shaskado. 62. Now, last time, 61, we did the direct relative, Ata, Avi, Ave, and so forth. Uh, this chapter is the indirect relative. And what is the difference? In the indirect relative, there is a preposition referring to your noun. Um, so, to whom in English, uh, as opposed to who. So, it's got the to in English, even. So, there's the preposition. So, here we have, Fad a willem a kindlesh, a man with whom, with whom I am talking. So, there's a preposition pointing to that noun. So, we have to use the indirect relative. That is the key. If you get that right, you'll always know which one to use. If there's no preposition, direct relative. If there is a preposition, indirect relative. And the indirect relative uses these eclipsed forms, and they're actually um, the uh, same forms as uh, the question forms. <coughs> so, far a revme a kindlesh, with whom I was speaking, or to whom I was speaking. Uh, fat a may may kind less again same thing just the question form with the eclipses uh, a meme and so forth and so on a main who I might be or would be uh, nach will again the nach is just the op a negative of ah uh, so they give you uh, some good comparisons in this chapter and it's really just a matter of practice remembering that key thing that the preposition is what determines whether it's indirect or direct. Fad uh, will adigid ege, the man who has the money or with whom the money is, <laughs> or uh, something like that. Fad nachwil kar ege, again, there's the same thing with the negative. Fad arev hata ard er, it doesn't matter what else you add on, it's still with whom or on whom or to whom, um, and so forth. They give you a whole bunch of examples, uh, and you can stick that preposition uh, any well it's usually at the end um, what else do we need to know from this again they just tell you to whom they give you uh, the past tense also the past tense a little less common but it uh, does happen so shin a an fad er me an chak uig so from whom uig I bought the house er uh, me instead of a me which would be uh, the direct relative Shin far nor yarme riv lesh. There's the lesh, that's the preposition. So you need that, the indirect relative form. The questions are interesting. Ke ege will an yaur. Ke lesh a rev to a kind. Again, so as a preposition involved, to whom, with whom, and so forth, and so on. And then they give you the, the a torfi jara. In, some, in this lesson is very important. You should go through those because that's the comparison between the two direct and indirect relatives. Shine and fair al yaur me yam. I'm just coming on Shine and fair al yaur yam. The man who talked to me. The man who talked. Not the man with whom I talked, but the man who talked. He didn't have a preposition pointing to him. The preposition in this one is me. Shine and fair al er yaur me lesh. With whom I spoke. So, lesh pointing back to the far, and therefore we need the indirect form. Shin i an van a hug an yaur dum, direct form. All right, dum is to me, not about her. That preposition doesn't point to her. Shin i an van er hug me an yaur de. So now the preposition points to her, and that's the indirect relative form pointing back to her. All right, and so forth, and so on. So study those, practice them, and hopefully keep them straight. Slon.